Welcome. There is a tremendous amount of people that love to take their neck and just put it in a position and just wham, crack. And they say, wow, that feels good. And they may even go to the other side and do the same thing, wham, wow, that feels good. But you also notice one negative thing. You may feel good temporarily and you'll say, well, I feel like I got to do it again and again and again. And these agains just keep getting out of control. And you're probably asking the question, how come I always feel I have to crack my neck? Look at the anatomy of the cervical spine, seven cervical vertebrae. There are discs throughout most of the vertebrae. There are nerve roots that come out. There are multiple different kinds of joints in each particular segment of each vertebrae when one sits on top of the other. It's called a motor unit. When you have two bones with a disc, we call that a motor unit. So there are many different joints. And the reason why there are, because we can bend forward, we can bend sideways, we can rotate side to side, we can lean back in all different directions. But there's something that we're doing to ourself that's really causing harm. So when you crack your neck, you're generally contacting the same areas, the same two areas over and over, meaning that the side of the chin or the side of the head is being contacted the same way. You're putting a force, you're hearing a pop. People may look at you like, wow, what is that guy doing? You're saying, wow, that feels good. Well, guess what? These people can hear those cracks and those audibles. But let's talk about what's happening. You're moving a joint, and as you move the joint, the joint originally is hypomobile. Hypomobile means it's not moving enough. It's, it's stiff. So you put a force into that area, but you put more of a force than you should because you're not the expert. As you put a twisting of fo force into that area, the ligaments holding that area become stretched. As the ligaments become stretched, they start to elongate. So when they start to elongate, the areas above and below start to move less again and it becomes a vicious cycle so when you contact the same two areas again that same area that's hypermobile now it starts moving too much stretching those ligaments you put more of a stretch in it the areas above and below start to move less and you think that every time you adjust your neck you are adjusting those areas above and below or somewhere that's not moving so you can get it to move again but you continue to move the same area that's hypermobile. It starts to stretch more. The areas above and below start, they don't move as much again because when something is moving too much, other areas above and below have to compensate for it so they don't move much at all. So the areas that become hypomobile above and below gives you the feeling in your head or gives you the feeling in your brain that you have to go ahead and continue to adjust your neck again. But unfortunately, you're not adjusting or moving what needs to move. It's almost impossible to do that because you're not the expert. Okay, so I want you to understand that the damage of those ligaments that are becoming overstretched is causing the joint to become unstable. That joint is going to have much quicker degeneration, arthritis, osteoarthritic changes, degenerative disc problems, herniated disc, pinched nerve, possibly spinal stenosis or compression on the spinal cord or anywhere else. So this is your important neck. And one most important thing I want you to understand is that the nerves are not only being affected, the discs, the ligaments, the muscles, but what about the blood vessels? You have blood vessels in the neck. Up on each side of these vertebrae, Inside, you have what we call the vertebral artery. It runs up inside the vertebrae to the brain. If you're twisting and rotating that area, you could be shearing and hurting that vertebral artery. That potentially, we don't even want to talk about strokes, but that can cause potential serious damage and even death. Now, I'm not here to scare you. I'm here to tell you the truth, that please, there are experts, there are people who are trained, like chiropractors and other physicians who are trained to manipulate, but don't do something that could potentially harm you or hurt you or cause drastic effects, particularly in your health and in your future. So I ask you to leave your comments below so the other thousands of people worldwide can continue to learn from your comments and potentially respond to your comments. I ask you to share this video for those that can benefit 
Subscribe if you haven't so you can continue to receive the best of self-help videos here on the internet. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.